Indian farmers have postponed a march to Parliament on February the 1st, the day of government's budget announcement. Uh, this follows uh, violent clashes with police on Tuesday. At least one person died and hundreds others injured. Tens of thousands of farmers have been camping on the outskirts of New Delhi for two months to protest against reforms of the agriculture sector. Farmers say that the reforms benefit big private buyers at the expense of growers. On Tuesday, a protest parade of tractors around the fringes of the capital to coincide with the Republic Day celebrations turned into chaos when some farmers diverged from agreed routes and broke through barricades. The group of farm unions organizing the protests uh, condemned the violence which saw protesters storm into the historic Red Fort complex as police used tear gas and batons to constrain them. Political analyst uh, Sagar Mil uh, Sina is uh, in Tipura, northeastern India, and he joins us now via Skype for a little bit more on the story. Thanks so much indeed for joining us. Welcome to the program. Um, what can you tell well, us about? You. Yeah, what can you tell us about these protests? Are they still ongoing? Uh, as far as the uh, protests are uh, concerned, particularly after yesterday's violence, uh, the tents where uh, they are being camped, uh, particularly near to the outskirts of Delhi, uh, today they are being reported to be quite. Uh, uh, they are reported that uh, the population is uh, quite less. Some of the farmers have actually. Uh, started uh, marching back to their homes saying that we have came here for peaceful protests, not for uh, indulging in violence. And particularly, it was also expected that yesterday after the uh, whatever violence happened, where around, um, it was uh, close to 400 uh, policemen were injured. So it is very quite expected that government would be taking a very strict action. And Delhi police uh, comes under the union government, uh, reporting to the union uh, home ministry, which is being handled by None other than by Amit Shah, who is also known as the second uh, right hand of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and Amit Shah is known for his strict image. The, although uh, yesterday after. Uh, Amit Shah hasn't tweeted anything, but it is being uh, reported uh, that uh, he is uh, monitoring and he is uh, closely monitoring all this. So, and some farmers are also fearing uh, in fear that uh, the government may book the Delhi police, may detain them already around, uh, some are detained and around 19 uh, have been arrested for yesterday's uh, riots and uh, more than 25 FIR have been filed, including uh, the former leaders, all the uh, leading former leaders who were uh, having uh, consultations with the government, uh, even they are not being spared. The Delhi police today in its uh, press conference has clearly said that all these uh, uh, former leaders who are now trying to say that they were not, uh, they have nothing to do with uh, yesterday's violence, they themselves have given space to all those notorious elements, all those radical elements, particularly prior to the night of uh, uh, January 26, which was also the Republic Day of India, uh, when uh, which was yesterday, uh, the tractor march was held. Prior to that night, uh, there were reports, even it was uh, reported uh, today, that uh, in the newspapers that radical elements, radical elements were given the center stage uh, in the protests. Uh, where the farmers uh, are having their protest. And particularly uh, uh, reports, uh, these are not yet confirmed, but there are reports been coming that Delhi police is particularly taking some strict actions. Some videos have started to emerge just uh, some 10-15 uh, uh, minutes ago. I was just uh, while checking on Twitter. Uh, these are not verified actually. Uh, the opposition leader, one of the opposition leaders have shared that uh, the police is having a crackdown. All right. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the protesters themselves because uh, the organizers have condemned the violence. Does that suggest that uh, some of the protesters perhaps 
are not legitimate protesters and have inserted themselves in this unrest, or did it just get out of hand? Uh, particularly after yesterday's violence, there are too many conspiracy theories uh, from the government supporters, from the former supporters. Everyone is having the conspiracy theories. But uh, to declutter all these things, uh, we have to go... Uh, few days uh, back, actually since uh, the protest started, the, they were against repealing of the three farm laws, which actually aren't uh, uh, against the interest of the farmer. But uh, so their protests have some reasons, like they, were, uh, they wanted an assurance on MSP minimum support price. And on December itself, uh, the government, particularly the Union Home Minister, Amit Shah, it was reported that he himself had said, and the Agriculture Minister was also involved in the consultation. There it was said that government is ready to give a written assurance on MSP. And in fact, it is well known that MSP, uh, the prices of MSP during the time of the Modi government, uh, have never been de uh, decreased. In uh, in fact, they were increased. But despite all this, and even the former uh, bodies, uh, because it's been led by 32 former bodies, uh, there uh, and they have formed a Sayuk uh, former uh, Kisan Morcha. So there are so many leaders. Some leaders they go, they talk with the government, they agree because the government itself has shown its uh, that its uh, want to have consultations with them. So some of them go and meet with the government and they agree. And the very next day, they just uh, say that, no, we just want uh, to repeal. We just want the government should repeal. So there have been a uh, shifting of goalposts from the former leaders from the very uh, beginning. And Another one thing is that today the farmer bodies, the farmer unions, they are particularly uh, that the Sayuk Kisan Morcha, which is a body of around 32 uh, farmer unions, they are blaming some uh, illegitimate radical elements and they are saying that they uh, were being infiltrated with the help of government. But uh, those uh, they have been uh, pointing include one actor Deep Singh Sidhu and another one is the gangster turned activist Lagveer Singh uh, Sidhana and another one former uh, union that is Kisan Mazdoor Sanghar's committee. So the Sayuk uh, Kisan Mocha they are saying that all these elements, radical elements and hardline elements, they were uh, they disturbed and government is behind it. In fact, one thing that uh, need to be uh, said here is that Deep Singh Sidhu uh, in 2019 Lok Sabha elections was a part, uh, he campaigned for uh, actor Sunil, uh, act, uh, for actor Sunny Dewal, who was a, a BJP MP. Uh, he contested from BJP and he was elected from Gurdaspur from Punjab and he was his campaign manager. However, uh, later he distanced from BJP and he turned a radical uh, element, a radical Sikh, um, basically campaigning for a separate independent Punjab and that is not even supported in Punjab to only a very few elements support. But today uh, the former unions are saying that uh, they are pointing that in 2019 his BJP connection saying that BJP uh, the government uh, Modi's party BJP is uh, involved in it. However, just some uh, week ago the government uh, has sent uh, the National Investigation Agency, NIA, has sent uh, summons uh, to Deep Singh Sidhu and around uh, 39 other leaders, where one former uh, union leader was also uh, mm included his name for uh, in connection to uh, in connection to a, a, U, a united states based radical sikh organization which is uh, seeking for creation of an independent punjab country completely a nonsense uh, demand so in however when all these nia noti uh, summons were sent the former bodies they didn't uh, con uh, they uh, 
didn't condemn Deep Singh Sidhu. Instead, in fact, they said that it was an attempt by the government to malign them, to call them as Khalistani elements. Khalistani means all those few elements who support for the creation of a uh, independent Punjab. But uh, one gets a sense. Uh, one gets a sense, uh, Sekamil, that uh, there's a lot of political overtones to this, whereas yes, actually. So yeah. many politics is being involved, like even the main opposition party Congress, which is the ruling party of Punjab, even it's uh, uh, officially had said that uh, the NIA notice which was being sent was an attempt to malign the protest. However, the government from the very first day has said that uh, some elements have infiltrated into the former's protest. They never uh, defamed uh, all the uh, former's, but they said that infiltrated, some has infiltrated. And today the former bodies, they are saying the same. Although still yesterday, before the Republic Day, uh, before yesterday's whatever violence happened, or at, uh, that was actually a planned uh, anarchist uh, elements have done that. Even before uh, yesterday's uh, uh, accident uh, means event, the former bodies were clearly saying that uh, there are no infiltrated elements inside our movement. Whatever the government is saying, government is completely wrong. Government is trying to malign us. But today they are saying that if, uh, elements have infiltrated into their uh, movement and they are being infiltrated by the government. So. Clearly, it seems that uh, yeah, a lot of politics are play. just blaming but, the government. And let's, in fact, today let's, the news get, is let's, uh, let's, saying that uh, yeah. two former unions have yeah. backtracked from the. Uh, from this protest, one is the VM Singh led uh, Rashtriya Kisan Mazdoor uh, Sangatan, and another is a Bharatiya Kisan Union uh, Bhanu faction because Bharatiya Kisan Union has so many factions, and one faction Bhanu they have uh, withdrawn, saying that we are not, uh, we don't support violence, and already this movement has lost its strength because every uh, because the former union leaders they themselves are divided and yeah. they are just pointing uh, blame on each other. All right, let's uh, perhaps move away from the politics because actually at the heart of this issue are real concerns that farmers are going to lose out if this, these laws are allowed to go through. Have you studied the uh, new laws and will it affect the farmers or will it improve the industry as government points out? Uh, first of all, uh, means whatever various agriculture experts uh, were uh, what they are saying is that the laws don't uh the laws actually give freedom to the farmers because uh, what happened uh, and the problem here is that the farmers don't have their right to even sell their pro products to a different state, not even in a different district of their own state. So they are being uh, allowed only to sell in the agricultural market committee, APMCs, agricultural produce market committees, which is have been called as Mondays. And basically the farmers still now who are being pro uh, protesting in the outskirts of Delhi, they are basically the large farmers of Punjab. And Punjab has been a richest state in terms of agricultural produce. And basically, who are protesting mainly are the large farmers and some, uh, and also it includes farmers from neighboring Haryana and some farmers from Western UP. Uh, Uttar Pradesh is the largest uh, state in India in terms of population, but the farmers only uh, from its Western part, they are protesting. and. On the other hand, many large states, Punjab and Haryana, they are not large states. Large states uh, like Maharashtra, West Bengal, and even Uttar Pradesh, these are agrarian states, but not all farmers of these states are protesting. And in fact, the, uh, the laws give the farmers allows the farmers to do contract farming and as uh, with the companies and one thing note, uh, to be noted is that there are many farmers who are engaged who have been engaged in contract farming uh, with big giants like pepsico uh, and even on milk production even uh, from Punjab to many uh, small scale uh, farmers they have been involved uh, with the private 
companies. So right. here so, the we, basic uh, uh, there is a rumor that which is being spread again and again is that uh, the big companies will take away their land. The right. laws clearly mention the laws clearly mention that this is not going to happen as uh, the firm uh, the big. Um, uh, companies, they won't take uh, their lands. It is clearly being mentioned. All right. We're going to have to leave it there. Sadly, we've run out of time, but thanks so much indeed uh, for your insights on this. Uh, what looks like a very complicated uh, web of politics yeah. and labor issues. Thanks so much indeed yeah, for joining us. Because just only uh, in the next year, Punjab is going to uh, polls. Okay, well, we'll be watching closely. Thanks yeah. so much indeed. Take care. <laughs> All right, that's the word from India. Uh, the protests suspended for now, it seems, after violent clashes yesterday with police. And uh, they're looking to try and get uh, some new laws repealed. We'll keep a track on that story for you.